Hey Zips fans, Chad Walker here from Skeels Field. Baseball wraps up their series with Ohio on Sunday, beating the Bobcats 9-8. to eight. They win the series three games to one. We had an opportunity to talk with Mark Myers and head coach Chris Sabo following the series. Um, you know, it just comes down to, uh, for the staff, just, you know, we work every week to try and get the ball down, and we did a really good job with fastball command this weekend and keeping that low, uh, you know, and then the defense, you know, is always helping us out for pitching and whatnot, so it's pretty easy when you got guys like that behind you. Uh, talk about that ninth inning, uh, got two guys two guys on, what's the mindset just to make sure you close the game out? Um, it's just the uh, same mindset as when, you know, if there's no one on with uh, nobody out, you know, you got to make execute one pitch at a time and just keep trying to pound that bottom of the zone and command your off speed for a strike, and you can have a day. Uh, talk about what you uh, personally have, have learned about yourself over the course of the year uh, and then kind of using that for this last game today. Um, honestly, uh, <laughs> just trying to go out and have fun every day. You know, last year, you know, seniors just trying to go out there and compete every day and you know, have a great time with these guys. Um, uh, these guys really bring the best out of me and push me every day to be the best that I can be. You know, we do a good job of holding each other accountable, and not only in our catch play, but in inner squads and everything. It's pretty fun. It makes it easy to really try and get better throughout the year. Then just final comments on the on the senior group today. Oh, I couldn't have asked a better way to go out with these guys. I mean, again, you know, at countless nights where, you know, seniors just stay up and kind of talk to each other about how to make the program better and whatnot. And, it's just a special group, and it's not even just seniors, you know. It's everyone in this program that really tries hard, and, you know, we just try and go out there and compete, give it our all every weekend, and, you know, let the rest play out for itself. Well, overall, I, I thought our pitching for the most part was great. I mean, the first three games, we got complete games. When was the last time that's happened uh, in Akron Baseball, where the first three games of a series, we get complete games uh, uh, with the pitchers, and we had a chance to win all three games. Uh, but it was good to see them really grind this one out here in the fourth game uh, to win our first uh, MAC series since 2015. So uh, 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 compliments to the uh, the players are really uh, grinding it today. We've been preaching it all year, and today they really show what if you grind it out, you never know. Put the ball in play, force force the other team to make a uh, make the effort, and uh, today worked out. Talk about the uh, fifth inning where you kind of did break it open, scored four runs in the bottom of the. Just talk about a little bit of how that inning went for you. Yeah, pre pretty much just grinding some at bats out, uh, putting putting the ball in play, not striking out. Uh, a couple of good approaches, trying to take the ball the other way, uh, not not pulling the ball as much, and uh, taking advantage if they throw a breaking ball soft. That's the ball you you pull. So uh, I was happy. We had three of our uh, seniors really contribute uh, greatly today: uh, Domer, um, uh, Meyer, and Reggie uh, uh, Regan. So I'm really happy for those for those guys on their last home game. Yeah, let's uh, just briefly talk about the seniors since we did honor them uh, earlier or pregame today. Just what did they mean? What have they meant to the program for the last two, three? Years? Well, not only the seniors, but uh, obviously, uh, you know, it's just it's just great that they believed in trying to bring this thing back, trying to bring this baseball program back. It's been tough, and we we knew it was going to be tough, you know, with our scholarship situation and, and all kinds of stuff. Uh, but they took a chance on Akron, and uh, uh, I can never thank them enough for uh, at least coming here and helping us try to get to where we want to be in the future. And then lastly, Coach, uh, you got Miami next week and then uh, Kent State midweek game. Just, uh, you know, what are you wanting to see uh, to round out the, the season? Well, I'd like to see another three wins next week. That'd be great. Uh, hopefully we can grind some at-bats out again against Miami. There'll be a good, uh, good program. It's a really nice field. The kids really like going there. A really nice complex. So, uh, yeah, we, we play Pittsburgh Tuesday. Top 20 team. That would be a good thrill for these guys. And then we have Miami. And then our, our last game's at Kent a week from Tuesday. And, uh, you know, might be a good chance to uh, get some other guys, some ABs and, and that kind of stuff in that last game. Thanks, Coach. The Zips will be back in action this Tuesday as they take on the Pitt Panthers over in Pittsburgh. They take on Miami next weekend in their final regular season Mid-American Conference play down in Oxford starting on Friday, doubleheader on Saturday, final game on Sunday, and they wrap up their season at Kent State the following week. This is Chad Welker for the Zips Digital Network. Have a great rest of your weekend, and as always, go Zips!